mounted on old school Scorpion. Now this is going to be done on the iPad Pro in Procreate, but you can do it whatever you want, just copy what I do. And use four layers, sketching, line work, shading, colour. So as usual, sketching, then we just work our way down. I'm going to use sketching pencil, technical pencil, a dark red just to sketch everything out. So here we go. So I'm putting this block shape first, like so. Little circle just here. And this curve outwards. The secondary curve just here. Wouldn't have a little curve just come kind of backwards off of it, so you kind of got almost like a comma kind of shape. Gonna have one line, two line. Into another one of those comma shapes. Little lines come back the other way. One line, two line. Try to get these as kind of as parallel as you can kind of can really. You know, they look really nice when they're nice and parallel, but don't beat yourself up if you can't, it's not always easy to get it perfect parallel. Just sketch into it, it's roughly the right place. And we're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, and then this one's going to go the other way, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Like so. It's a line down the middle bit there. So this is the basic shape of the scorpion. So to start with down here on the face, we're going to do this kind of sort of heart shape coming back from the face. So we're going to start here. Curve up and create this kind of shape, like so. I'm going to create two curves just on the inside, like so. I'm going to create another line just coming here and one come back over there. After of this, two little triangle shapes. Just roughly where those semicircles are for the eyes. Now coming off of this, we're going to go one curve. So we're going to curve, come up, create a dip in the center, curve around. We're going to go two. We're going to go three. We're going to go a little bit thinner than the other one. I'm going to bit thinner as we go up. I'm going to go four, five, like so. I'm going to create this little sort of triangle bit just in the center of each one, like so. These little line details just in the center of each one of those bumps. Now with each one of the arms just here, we're going to go one, two, three, four. So four little curves. So four little ball shapes just on those. Same on your side, one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to bother for the arms. So I'm going to bring this line out now, so a nice curved line. And you can do this any way you want. You can just be basic and do this if you want. I'm going to do this nice curve, so. Right, they're just all on me. Don't know why I've done that. Unfortunately, pure Z play up, so I'm going to create a curve this way, and then curve back into it. So one like this line's going to be nice and straight. Well, not straight, but one simple curve. The other one's going to kind of curve and go a bit wavy into it. Now this one, like we said, is kind of that sort of comma shape. So I'm going to bring this back around, like so. Gonna bring a little secondary line, just mimicking that shape, just for detail. And then this V shape just coming off for the other part of his claw. Like so. I'm gonna create a circle just where it joins. So again, same thing this side, so bringing this shape like so. Mimic it back. Create that V shape for the second part of the claw. Secondary circle. Like so. 
so. And same on these sides, so we're going to bring this curve. Go back around that way. Curve. Curve back up into it. And the last one is going to be much simpler. I'm going to bring a curve like this. And this is going to have a simple bump like that. Now you can easily change up your scorpion just by changing little details, by changing the shape of these, a different kind of sort of pattern for the body. You know, scorpions are very easy to customize. You know, because they are basically just completely pattern work. You know, it's just each one is kind of a repeating pattern. You know, it's not too much structural stuff to them, really. And then this one. It's still in the opposite direction, so it's got that curve. A curve. And same thing, so straight line and then a simple bump on that last one. Same here. So we're just repeating ourselves. Like so. I'm now going to bring this line up here. It's just going to curve around here. Now, there's lots of ways you can do this. You could do this circles repeating coming up. You could do like a nice kind of pattern work. The way I like is doing this. So we have this curve shape. I'm going to repeatedly keep doing this curve, slowly shrinking it. as we come around like so and then bring on a secondary line on each one of these and then the big scorpion one similar to the, uh, the claws on the hand but I like to make this a bit more kind of curved so it's a bit more of a stinger I'm just going to put a little circle bit in just in there as well. So that is the basic structure. So now I'm going to go over everything in pen. So I'm going to go on my line work, select black, inking, studio pen. Not quite that thick. Not quite that thin. There we go. About this kind of thickness. So yeah, so now I'm just going to go over everything we've just done with a nice liner. Don't worry if you're not going as quick as me, go at your own pace. This is not a race. You know, if you want, pause, rewind it. No, there's nothing wrong with that. And try to be as kind of neat as you can with it. And just try to make sure every time you do a line it kind of connects up. You know, to the line before it. Try not to leave any spaces. Just makes it easier in shading so we can do what you're going to see me do, which I always do with a selection tool.
So yeah, just keep it going, just keep doing getting everything in there. You can see we're slowly getting there now. Just putting this tail shape in there now. I love the effect the secondary line is going to give when we shade this in. Alright, so now I've done that, it's going to have to sketch in. So you see we've got a nice line work all nice and bold in here. So we're going to go into shading now. I'm going to select the spray paint tool. Select whichever one you prefer as your shading brush. This is the one I like to use. So certain areas, I'm going to bold in black. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in all the bold black areas that I want. So it's basically mostly going to be there, there, and there. And now I'm going to start shedding in some bits. So I'm going to select all these little areas now on the tail. And I'm going to come in and I want this black coming across that back edge. And fading like so. Love that kind of curve. So now one at a time here, you know, some black coming in from the bottom, nice and bold. Now don't be afraid to use your bold black, you know, if you want it to look old school, you've got to have your bold black. A really quick harsh shading with it. And we still need each one of these at the bottom, like so. And I'm going to select each one of these first arms. And I'm just going to use black coming out from inside outwards, like so. You can do it around the other way if you want as well. It looks good both ways. So decide which way you prefer it. I'm going to go inside out. For no particular reason, just, just what I want to do. this little bit of arm here, I'm going to make it a little bit different, so I'm going to come in from both sides. Now I'm just going to select these parts of the arm. I'm just going to uh, shading from the top and the bottom this time. <coughs> Do the same thing on the bottom parts of these ones. These 50 cuffs, we're just going to shade on the inside part outwards. These face bit here, just from the bottom upwards a little bit. And then his spike, his stinger, from the bottom upwards a bit, like so. And that's pretty much it for the uh, shading. So we're going to go to colour now. So I'm going to select all the parts I'm going to do in yellow first. Which is basically the tips of his feet, the inside bits there, maybe his eyes. 
I haven't decided on his eyes, I might change the colour of the eyes though. So got that, and I select the bits of what in red. So I'm now going to select red. And lastly for the reds, nice red splat in the background. Yeah, keep your eyes yellow. And that's pretty much it for all the colour, really. You know, you can go more crazy with the colour if you want, but I think with Scorpion, sometimes the best policy is keeping the most simple the colours. Yeah, that's how you draw an old school Scorpion. I hope you like it. Comment, like, subscribe. Check out my videos. And the Broken Puppet, and I will see you next time. Peace.